Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how to create a master detail or one-to-many screen in Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich internet Silverlight applications. This lesson picks up where we left off in the last video. We have a simple order management system with products, customers, their orders, and details. We've got a couple basic screens so far for searching and editing customers and products. Let's run the application real quick to see where we left off. So here's our customer search screen. Notice that when I click on a customer, this opens up the customer detail screen. Now we want to start entering orders for our customer. So what I want to do is I want to put a list of orders below this customer and then create a simple master detail screen to enter the order details. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our customer detail screen here. And what we want to do is add a list of order headers for this customer. So this is also going to become a master details or one-to-many screen because we're going to be adding the related customer orders below. So LightSwitch makes this really easy to add related child records to a screen. All we need to do in this case is click on this add order headers right here on the left pane. So now you can see that this data is connected to customer. These will be the order headers that are related to this customer. So now all I want to do is click add right here in the view and just add the order headers. And instead of a grid, what I want to do is put this as a list box instead. Okay. And the reason why is because what we're going to do is have, we want to be able to allow the users to enter the order headers and the order details at the same time. So we'll create another screen for that. Okay. But they'll access that screen through this. Okay. So um, the other thing we're going to do is um, make sure that the summary property that is being displayed for our order header is what we want. Now, I talked about summary properties in a previous video when we created a summary property for our customer. So now all we need to do is make sure that the summary property is also set for our order header. So what we do is just double click on the order headers and that will open up the entity designer. And the order header is selected here at the top we can scroll down on the property sheet here and we now we can set the summary property to the order date instead of the ID. The other thing I want to do is I want to check the order uh, the uh, summary property on the order details as well and you'll notice I've got that set to price okay so that sounds that sounds fine. Okay so summary properties are basically just a way to describe the entity on our screens. Okay so let's go ahead and run this and see what we've got so far. Okay, so now let's, when we open up our customer screen, now you'll see that there's a list of order headers here below. Now Joe doesn't have any yet, so we can just click on the add button, okay, and the order and set the order date, okay, and then select save. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to allow the user to click this as a link to open up another screen that allows them to edit the order, basically to enter the line items. But first we need to make that a clickable link. So I'm just going to click the design screen and I'm going to go down to order header here and I'm just going to do this as show as link. We could have done that in the screen designer earlier, I just forgot. Okay, so let's click save. Okay, so now this is clickable. Now when we click on it, notice light switch has just created this default edit screen for us for the order header. So what we want to do next is create this order header screen that also has the line item details. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new screen. We can either right click here and say add screen or we can, since we have the um, entity designer open, we can just click the add screen button. Okay, and I'm going to create a detail screen, but I want a detail screen for our order headers. And we want to make sure that this is the default detail screen. I also want to include though the order details. So we're going to create a master detail of orders, order headers and order details. Okay, so let's click OK.
Okay, so this is going to be a master detail or one-to-many screen with the order header as the parent and the, and the many order details as the children below. Now I'm going to remove the summary field here from the order detail, so I'm just going to click on that and hit delete. And I also want to just move the product up to the top. Okay, um, the other things I'm going to do, well, the reason why I did that is because I don't want to allow the user to open up the line item detail screen individually. We want them just to enter the line items right here on this screen directly. Okay, so I also want to change how the customer is being displayed. Right now, it's an autocomplete box, and because we're coming from the customer screen, it doesn't make sense to change the customer here again. So. This is automatically going to be filled out for us, so I'm going to change this to a summary. And I also want to go ahead and show his link down here. Um, this allows us to navigate between the customer screen and this order screen back and forth. So if the user has a lot of screens open, this makes it convenient for them to jump tabs. Okay, I also want to show the customer on the left-hand column and the order date and ship date on the right. So I'm going to move this around. Right now, we've got it in the reverse. So I'm going to put, just drag and move this up here. And then for the ship date, I want to move that down here and the order date down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on Joe, and there's the order I added last time. But now when we click on it, instead of light switch generating the screen, this will open up the screen we just created. Okay, so now you can see that there's the customer. If we click on it, we've jumped just back to the tab we have open, so that's convenient. Um, also, if we had closed the customer um, and we have the order open, this will actually open the customer for us. Okay, so that's really nice. Um, the other thing is we've got this handy grid in here. So I'm going to just start adding in some products. Okay, so let's just do quantity, price, and product. And notice this is an autocomplete box. Okay, and this is the products that we had entered in a previous video. Okay. Cool. Now there's a couple other things that we can do to customize the screen. For instance, if you don't want to just have just a, a grid here for the um, for the order details, we could make it so that it displayed the selected item below the data grid. Okay, so you have a lot of flexibility on how you want to create your master detail screen. So what I did was I just selected the selected item for the for the order details, and it put all of the all of the items here all of the order detail itself down here, or the fields of the order detail itself under the grid, because this just allows the user to um, enter data in a different way. So I'm going to remove the order header relation because it's already here up at the top. Um, but there's the and, the and I'll move the price up here. Um, Let's just move it up that. Um, and so now it looks consistent. Now, this is convenient if you have a lot of fields that are going to be, um, you know, the user has to scroll across inside of their grid. You might choose instead to only display a few fields in the grid and have them edit down here below. OK, so let's go ahead and add one more product in here. OK, so let's just do this. Um, and we're going to select oranges. Cool. All right, save. And you'll notice that you can also do delete. Okay, so there's an indicator that it's going to be deleted when the user um, saves the form. Okay, so that's how you can create master detail forms with Visual Studio Lite Switch. So thanks for watching. <laughs>